What I'd like you to do, if you can, if you have a notebook, or if not, just a piece of paper, like what I have here, blank piece of paper. And today you're gonna to need your ruler and a pen or pencil. We're gonna have a little fun activity later on, and I'd like you to participate if you can. All right? Want to do a quick little quiz review so we can just kind of get warmed up. Um, what do we know? Uh, so here we go. A spherical model of the Earth. What is a spherical model of the Earth referred to as? Referred to it as a globe. Correct. Now, satellite pictures are an example of what? Satellite photographs are an example. What do we refer to those as? Anyone remember? That is a, an aerial photograph, an aerial photograph. Good job. All right, a flat representation or drawing of the earth or part of the earth is known as or called a, a what? This is the definition for, okay, that's the definition of the word map, okay? Which element on the map is used to tell direction from one place to another? All right, so the elements of the map, if you remember, was a border, scale, key, title, and of course, the last one we just mentioned is the one that we use to tell direction, and that is a compass or compass direction. Okay, which is not a way that we show direction on a map. So we can use a compass rose, and we'll, we're gonna make a compass rose today. Uh, we can use an arrow north. If we don't see a compass rose or an arrow north, we then assume that the top of the map is north. So that is also a way we can show it. The answer was C. C or bar scale is actually a way that we use or find distance from one place to another. Okay, great job, guys. All right, so we're going to move on today, and we're going to be looking at these objectives, what do we want to know? Give a detailed definition of what, a, what compass direction is. All right, so today we wanna to look at and give a detailed definition of a compass direction. We're gonna create something today. We're gonna to make something. We're gonna create a 16 point compass rose and we're gonna label the main points on that rose. We're gonna outline steps for finding the compass direction from one place to another. And then finally, we're gonna demonstrate that we can use or find direction from one place to another using a compass rose. So those are our objectives for today. Let's move on. What is compass direction? Compass direction is the horizontal direction expressed as an angular distance or as a, dis, a, a distance measured clockwise from a compass point north. So the key thing to see there is that we're looking at what is the direction and also distance angular from north. So this is our north and we go, well, we go east and we go west, all right? And we go all the way around to south. And so that's an angular distance from north. And we can use it in many different ways, but the most common way we use it is by using simple compass directions. Compass direction, allow, this allows the viewer to determine the direction on a map as it relates from due north. So again, we see that word north in bold. Our reference point, our starting point is always going to be do whatever it is from north, all right? So we use that as our reference point from one place to another. Most maps tend to be orientated so that due north faces the top of the page. So like I said, usually we will have a map and a map will, this is my map. The top of the map is usually north. Sometimes it's a little off and we have different north. We'll see that in a few minutes, in, in a couple of seconds. But usually the top of the map is orientated so that it is north. And we then can tell other directions based on that. There are exceptions to this and, have, uh, and having a compass rose or a arrow allows the viewer to know what direction the data on the, in, on the map is orientated. Remember, we use that word orientation. What is our orientation? Means what is our direction? 
all right? And so a detailed definition, it is, compass direction is uh, a horizontal, when we're using along a map, not vertical, vertical is up. And a lot of people get mixed up between up and north. North is not up. Up is going towards the sky. North is the horizontal direction, okay, that we use. And it is an angular distance measured clockwise from north. And we'll see that when we get to our compass in a minute. This allows the viewer, the user, to determine the direction of a map as it relates uh, from one place to another. Now, there are several norths that you may see on a map. We talked about an ordnance survey map. And if you look at an ordnance survey map, you will see several norths. For example, we have something called magnetic north. Because of the tilt of the Earth on its axis, north is not always over the North Pole. That is true north. We have a place somewhere off-centered, which is what we call magnetic north. That is what, uh, when we have a magnetic compass, that's the direction that the magnetic compass is pointing to, to north. So believe it or not, if you have a magnetic compass, it's not pointing to true north, it's pointing to magnetic north. But we don't want to get into that too much. That's very, there's a lot of physics involved with that. And we don't really need to know it. We just need to know when we identify on a map what magnetic north is, that is the direction in which a compass needle, a free balance compass needle will point. And we can use magnetic north because it's very close to true north. True north is direction to the North Pole. And then finally, we have something what is called grid north. And grid north is the, is, is the direction north based on how the lines, the grid lines that you learned last week are orientated on your map. And Mr. Monroe talked about grids last week. So those are our three norths that we talk about. You'll see them sometimes. All right, let's get into a compass. What you see on your, on your screen is a compass rose. Now, I'm going to point out some things as we go. First of all, I mentioned that north is our starting point. This is where we are orientated to start. And when we measure direction, we measure it in a clockwise. In other words, how a clock ticks or how the hands on the clock move. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, exactly. So that would be a clock. And so when we measure direction, we measure clockwise around a compass rose. Each one of these are our main points. We call these four points, and we'll talk about this now, our four points, which is north, south, east, and west. These are our cardinal, four cardinal points. We also have what are called intermediate points. Intermediate points are those points which are found halfway between the main cardinal point. So halfway between north and east is northeast. Halfway between south and east is southeast. Midway between south and west is southwest. And midway between north and west is northwest. I want to point out something here. Notice that we always start with north south, then east or west. In other words, this point here is never going to be called east-north because we name north first. This point here is never going to be called east-south. And I've seen students do it. South is mentioned first. And I'm going to have a little mnemonic for you to learn so that you can remember the order in which we give our compass directions. This point here is southwest. South is given first. And this point here is northwest. North is given first. Now, we also have eight points in between these intermediate points. They're called our secondary intermediate points. They're not labeled on this today, but they can be if you wish, if you want to do it on your own. And those are, of course, north, northeast, which is here north of northeast, on the north side of northeast. 
east, northeast. Of course, it's on the east side of northeast, east, southeast, which is on the eastern side of southeast, south, southeast. And you're starting to see the pattern here, south, southwest, on the south side of southwest, west, southwest, on the west side of southwest. And the last two, west, northwest, and north, northwest. It's northwest, but it's closer, to, it's between north and northwest, so we name north first. Those are our 16 points on a 16 point compass. Those are the ones that you're gonna to have to use when giving direction on your BGCSE. So how do we, I just showed you one way we show a direction on a map and that's with a compass rose. We also have an arrow north. So if you look at this map of Grand Bahama, if you look in the top right-hand corner, you will still, you'll just simply see a north arrow. That means that this map is orientated so that the top of the map is north. Just confirmation for you. Now, this map here, which shows world population, if you notice, there is no arrow. And so you say to your teacher, well, where is north? Well, remember, whenever no compass arrow or compass rose is presented on a map, we assume that the top of the map is north. Top of the map is north. Great job so far. Okay, so we also have a, another way that we can use it, and that is by bearings. Bearings is using the angular distance. And we're not gonna get into bearings today, but on a 16 point compass, you can see this compass has bearings. And so we can actually be more precise in our direction. You know, sometimes if we're going in this direction, we, we oh, well, it's north, northeast, but it's not quite north, northeast. If we give the bearing of 15 degrees, then we know that is exactly the, the direction. So you can see here that North is at zero, always. And we don't say 360, we always use north as zero. Now, because this is a straight line coming straight down, and if we know our mathematical angles, then we know that south is 180. Now, halfway between north and south is east, and so this is 90 degrees, because this is a right angle, and you'll see this in a few minutes. And then halfway going this way between north, south and north, going back up, is west, which is 270 degrees. And so you can see that northwest is 315, northeast is 45, southeast is 135, and southwest is 225. There is actually a way to remember this. Um, if you're mathematically inclined, you'll notice 45, then you add a one and you change the four to a three, 135. You add another one to this column, it becomes a two. You take away another one that becomes a two. So that's 225. And then finally in this one, so I remember it by going 45, 135, 225, 315. It's a numerical way that I show my kids how to do it. If you see the pattern, it helps. But if you don't, don't worry about it. We will come back to bearings another time. Today, we just want to look at compass direction. Very seldom are bearings acts, but it is good to know it just in case. All right, so today, our little exercise. We're going to draw ourselves a compass rose. And as we draw our compass rose, we are going to learn our compass direction. So you need a blank piece of paper, or your notebook is fine. Now, obviously I can't see you do it. And so in a classroom, I would be able to walk around and see if you're getting it. So if you don't understand what I've done, or if you're not quite think you're not quite getting it, uh, just give me a chat and I will stop and go through it again with you. So the first step I want you to do is I want you to draw a line about 20 centimeters. So your ruler is actually 30 centimeters long, 20 centimeters, let's say about, um, eight inches. If your book is not big enough, then you can do it a little smaller. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So 
here we have our line and we make sure our line is perpendicular, straight up and down. And at the top, we write a little, we draw a little arrow, like I have it there. You can see it, I have a little arrow. And there's our straight line. We find halfway, halfway is our point. And we keep going down just, and then we label our points on the map, north, and the one directly below is south. Everybody with me so far? Step one, north, south. I'd like everyone now to just click uh, or, or, or chat in that you, you've got that kind of drawn on your map. And you'll see why this is important in a minute. Everybody done? Got it? Ashton says, got it. SJ's got it. Good. Anyone else? Everyone else? Good. Now, what I want you to do now is I want you to find halfway and put the little point. I did a little bit more than halfway. It, it's okay if your north line is a little above half. That's fine. Find your halfway. And when you found your halfway, draw a line straight across and try to keep it straight so that this angle is. 90 degrees. So we have 90 degree angles. Okay. All right. And we're going to label on each end east and west. The one on our right hand side, as we look at our page, is east. The one on the other side is west. Now, this might be mirrored. And I apologize if it is, but so far, so good. And you see what it looks like on your paper. Now, I'm going to give you another minute or two to finish that off because we're going to continue on as we do. So, we've drawn our first line In this fashion, with a, with, a little, uh, with a little arrow with north, and on the bottom we have south. We've now found the middle point, and we've gone across, and we've drawn a straight line, and we've gotten east and west. Hopefully everyone has gotten that done so far. We can move on, but it's still going to be there for you. So now we're going to draw a diagonal line. Of course, they're going to cut the, this angle in half, which will make it 45 half half. So let's go ahead and do that. Those lines can be a little shorter. Let's make them 12, the entire line 12 centimeters. So that means each section is going to be about six centimeters. And so yours should look something like that. This segment, segment here is six centimeters. This segment here is six centimeters. This segment here is six centimeters. And this segment here is six centimeters. And so we have something looking like we got a compass going on almost. That is step four. Just let me know if everyone has got it. Type in, yep, got it, done. All right, I guess we're finishing off that now. And I'm just going to demonstrate the last part. Now, the last one, the lines are eight centimeters in length. They're four centimeters from each, each end. That's these lines right here. And they cut these in half. So that's this line right here, cuts that in half, cuts that in half. Once you get one side lined up, the other one should be fine. They cut in half, they cut in half, they cut in half. Now, what we should have done earlier, was labeled Northeast, Southeast, Southwest, Northwest. I'm gonna show you that here. So what we should have is Northeast, whoop, mirror, there we go. Southeast, Southwest, Northwest. All right, those are intermediate points. 
okay? Our intermediate points. And now what we've done now is we've cut those also in half. And we're not gonna label those, but you should know them. That's north, northeast, east, northeast, et cetera, all right? Has everyone kind of got that point down so far? Please tell me you, you've, you've done, gotten to that point because I don't want to move any further. I can't move along any further until we've all got our 16 little segments drawn. So SJ, have we done? Soon finished. Thank you, SJ. Good job. Well, thanks for responding. D'Angelo, have we done that? Are we doing, are we on point? Ashton, Jason, Joshua, Maya, I don't know if you got involved. I can, if you need me to start again, I, I have time. I can go back and start it again for you. You know, I'll do that anyway. For those of you who are just joining us or weren't quite sure what we were doing, or you were scrambling, finding materials at home, I understand, all right? The first thing we did was we drew a north-south line. And then we dissected that line with an east-west line. So we had a cross, all right? North, south, east, west. And those lines were both, one was, the long one was about 20 centimeters, and this one was 18, a segment of nine each. And then what we did was we cut that diagonally in half. We made those about 12 centimeters, which is six centimeters from the middle. Okay. And we have northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. And then lastly, we dissected those lines in half as well. So we have 16 points on our compass. That's why we call it a 16 point compass. Now, what we're now going to do, as you see what I've done here, is we're gonna now join the ends of each of the lines. That's a quarter of it done, but keep going. I only showed you a quarter, but keep going. So go ahead and go all the way around, joining the tips of the lines. And if all of your angles are correct, and you can practice this more, what you end up with is a very beautiful compass rose. And you can color them in. You can color each of the segments in different colors. You finish off and you end up with something looking like this. A very pretty compass rose and you see them on your maps at times. And by doing this, you now learn the various compass directions, north, south, east, west. If we go around in order, it's north, east, south and west, okay? And I'm gonna give you a mnemonic to remember that. So how'd we do? Did everyone get it? Did everyone's zone come out similar to Mr. Nab's zone? And trust me, I failed art, so you don't have to be an art teacher. Oh, you got it, Jason, well done. You don't have to be an art teacher to do a, a, a something like this. It's just all about angles and straight lines. And so you have your compass rose, you can put that up somewhere. Uh, like I said, you can color the boxes in the various colors, you know, blues and yellows and whatever, and it makes for a pretty, very pretty compass rose. And you can stick this up somewhere so that you remember your compass directions. All right. Good job. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed that little activity. All right. And of course, we can label it north, south, east, west, northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest, as seen on the Diagram uh, the, the compass here. I wouldn't stress over the other ones unless you really want to put them on, all right? Because usually, if we use those eight main compass points, uh, we're going to be fine, all right?
Good job. We're going to move on now. I'm going to learn, or we're going to practice. There's some steps. Oh, well, first of all, we're going to just review over what the cardinal points are. There are 16 points on a compass that are divided in three groups. Of course, we learned already that the first set are called cardinal points, north, south, east, west. And if we go around in a compass in a clockwise direction, there's a mnemonic that we can use, a, a, a rhyming uh, word or a, a phrase that we can use to remember this. Does anyone have a mnemonic we can use? Let me type in whatever mnemonic you might have learned or you think you can use to remember north, east, south, west in order. North, east, south, west. Anyone think of one? Never ever smoke weed. Yeah, there you go. Well done. Yes. Never eat soggy worms. Yes, I like that one. I have one similar to that one, Jason. Good job. I like that one, Ashlyn. That's a good one. That's a uh, extremely yeah, good good point. Anyone else? <laughs> Someone enjoyed it. Yes. All right. Well done. I like that. I, I like both of those actually. All right. All right. Mine. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you mine. Oops, if I can show it. There we go. Let's see if I can get it back up. Mine is never eat shredded wheat. Yeah, you know, healthy food. Oh, never eat shredded wheat. All right. Uh, but I like the ones that you guys did. I like never eat soggy worms. That's a good one. Yes. Ew. And a very good point, Ashton. Good job. So, yes, whatever mnemonic you remember to remember north east, south, west, so you remember the order in which they come on a compass is an excellent way to go about it. All right, good job guys, excellent work. All right, so let's move on. And now what I have presented here for you, and you may wanna jot this down somewhere. This I find very helpful and I'll explain in a minute. Um, and that is the steps we use in order to find direction. Oh, some of us think, oh, direction is easy. And yet we make so many simple mistakes as we're, as we're trying to give direction. Um, it, it's important that we get this. So for example, the very first step I have there is oftentimes where students make a mistake. You, you, you mix up where you're starting and where you're going to, your starting point and your destination. For example, if I say your flight is leaving from Nassau to Freeport, what is your starting point? Anyone? Your flight is leaving from Nassau to Freeport at 12 o'clock. What is your starting point? I see you, Jason. Good job. Anyone else? Good, SJ, yes. Anyone else? Ashlyn, yes. Okay, so the answer there was, of course, your starting point is Nassau. From, the word from is very important. What is the direction of the church, uh, sorry, of the church from the school? You're starting at the school, even though I put school last. Be careful, that happens on exams a lot. The destination will be mentioned first sometimes because they say from the school. What is the direction of not of Freeport from Nassau. Again, you're beginning in Nassau, moving to Freeport. So please be very careful when reading the question that you understand your starting point and your finishing point. Look for the words from and to. Another example, state the direction from the dock to the warehouse. Again, you're starting from the dock. So both of those, notice I used, I put dock first in the second one, but I put school second, but they're both the starting point because they say from this place. Most students know how to find direction, but they get the answer wrong because they don't start from the correct location. 
draw a straight line through the starting point north. And I'll demonstrate this in a few minutes. I always tell my students, the map is yours. You can draw on it in pencil, use it. All right, so first thing you do, find out what your starting point is, and then draw a line north. Looking at what your compass is telling you in your key and draw your line north. Then locate your destination. What is your destination? Your destination is your finish point. It's usually indicated by the words to or of. For example, what is the direction of the church? Of the church, the destination is the church. Or what is the direction from the dock to the warehouse? Again, your destination is the warehouse. So be very careful again. Reading comprehension, knowing your starting point and your finishing point. Once you've determined where your destination is, you draw a straight line from to. And then you use your compass rows to determine the direction you're moving. So, hey, guess what? Let's practice. Let's practice. What is the compass direction from point A to point B? Let's see if we get some answers. From point A to point B. Here we go. Write it out for me, Jason. I, I see the I see it. Yes, thank you. Very good. Anyone else? From A, so A is our starting point from to B. Anyone else? Oh, only give me one direction, SJ, and that's a common error because then if I give you that answer, it's it's confusing for the examiner, the teacher. Did this person really know it? You don't say. Re rephrase that, uh, SJ, just give me one direction. What is the direction? Well, let's practice. Here we go, everybody watching? Our, our starting point is A, <clears throat> excuse me. And so the first thing we do is we draw our compass arrow going north from A. Our destination is B. And so we draw our line going to B. So what is this direction? This direction is east. That's all, I, all you have to write there, SJ. Just write the word east. The answer is east. The compass direction from A to B is east. All right, let's practice another one. Number two. Let's go guys, we gotta get this. If you're having questions, please let me know. What is the compass direction of C from point A? SJ, try again. Yes, Kadisha, well done. Jason, good job. SJ, think about it again. Oh, well done, SJ. Anyone else? Need some other people that responding here. So again, now notice I reversed it this time, and that can happen, but we're still from point A. Our starting point is still point A. And so we're still gonna use this line, but now we're gonna draw a line to, to, to C. And so this is our direction going down to C. And so that direction is of course, south. Well done. Those of you who responded, well done. I hope we're getting everyone else. If you're not getting it, please ask. All right, let's do another one. Let's practice another one. What is the direct compass direction from B, point B to point C?
Ashlyn, well done, I see you. Who else? Yes, well done, Ashton. Good, we're getting it now. Excellent, good job. Yes, our starting point, of course, is B. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line through B going north. And is, is everyone now, I hope, seeing why, even though it seems kind of basic to draw that line through B, it's important so that you kind of get in a good habit of how to find direction. We draw our line from B to C, <clears throat> and we look at our compass, and when we go from B to C, use my pointer, imagine B is in the middle of this compass, that's our line going north, and C is in this direction, we now see that C is southwest. There we go, good job. So the direction from B to C is southwest. And finally, what is the compass direction of point D from point A? Notice I emphasize the word from point A. So Kadisha, well done, who else? Anyone else? Yes, good job guys. All right, excellent. So again, a is our starting point. D is our destination. Starting point A, we draw a line going up to north. Shouldn't say up, but to north. We draw a line to D. We look for this angle here. And if that's A and that's north and this line is coming this way, that must be southeast. Great job, guys. Great job. All right. So our last activity today, our very last activity today is we're going to, the answer there is southeast. We're going to practice a few of these. Now, this map might look familiar. It should look familiar. Uh, this is the map that Mr. Monroe used. Um, on Wednesday to go over six figure grid references and we are going to practice. Up, 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 I'm doing the wrong thing, sorry. We're gonna practice six figure grid references um, as we use our compass direction. Can you state the direction of the following places? From Lodge Farm, which is found at 306453 to the school, which is found at grid square or grid reference 323465. So, as soon as you get an answer, number one, let me know, but I'm going to try and help you. First one, the large farm. The large farm is here at 306. I hope everyone can see my, <clears throat> my pointer. And three, sorry, four, six, five. Sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. Four, yes. Oh, no, 306, sorry. I'm reading the wrong one. 453, large farm, right here. Does everybody see it? Yes, okay. Now, where is the school? The school is at 323, 465. There's our destination. So, we're going from the large farm to the school. What direction is that? I see a few answers already. Kadisha, well done. Jason, good job. Anyone else? From large farm 
to the school. So we, we can draw on this map, we could have drawn our arrow going north, and then we could draw our arrow going to the school, and we could find out what this direction. Now, of course, there's only a compass arrow. There's our compass arrow in the top left-hand corner, so we know where it is. I only see two responses so far. Any other responses? Okay, thank you. I see another one. Thank you very much. Okay, so the answer for number one is, of course, C, Northeast. Okay, let's do number two now. I have two more to do. From Friedley Manor. Friedley Manor is in 32.3, 44.6. To Swansworth Farm. Swansworth Farm is in 31.1 and 46.2. Now you're starting to see how we use grid references to actually find places on the map. Good, Ashlyn, I see your answer. Okay, well done, Ashlyn, yes. SJ, yes. Kanisha, well done. Good job. Anyone else? Okay, so our answer there is of course, Northwest. Good job. Now the last one, from Cowslip Farm, 31.3, 45.2, to the tunnel. Sorry, from the tunnel, from the tunnel. Mr. Nab almost got caught on that one. Didn't read the question properly. From the tunnel. So, what is our answer? I want everyone to check. Uh, okay, can you should check your answer. Jason, you checked it and you realized, yes, you almost made the same mistake Mr. Nab made. Ah, well done, yes. So remember the word from, for rum. And I put that one last. I tricked myself, I almost tricked you. We're starting at the tunnel. We're going down to Cowslip Farm, and the answer there is, of course, south. Oh, SJ, check your answer. Well, SJ, I'm going to use my pointer to show you something. If it was southeast from uh, the tunnel, it would be more along this way. So, uh, McClennan Hall or Jupiter Hill Wood would be more southeast, okay, SJ? South is this direction right here. So it's, it's more of a southerly direction. So be careful with that. All right, guys, that is about all I have with regards to direction today. Uh, direction, like all other map skills, all right, um, require lots of practice. Um, you can find exercises online uh, to, to help you with your map skills. Uh, when you get back to school, ask your teacher for some past paper with a map and practice those map skills, it's vitally important that you, you get these uh, skills down. And here's why. Remember, paper one, mandatory question on map reading. Paper two, uh, optional question on map reading, but you know it's gonna be there. And since you know it's gonna be there, master these simple tools and you can get a good grade on your BGCSE. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, remember, class is at nine o'clock. Uh, so have a safe day. Panelists, thank you for your uh, time today. Um, enjoy the lesson. Enjoy the time with you. Have a great day. Uh, this presentation has been uploaded on the ministry's website. There's no homework, no assignments. Uh, you can just go back over it, look through it, practice uh, drawing a compass rose if you want. Practice these answers. Maybe do some more on your own and have them checked. Um, what I'll try and do is uh, either later on this week, I may, I may send out, uh, send another assignment with it. So just keep, post, keep checking it and, um, and uh, I, may put some, uh, I may put another assignment up uh, using grid squares and map uh, and, and direction. Thank you. Uh, interesting, um, not sure what that means. <laughs> can be lots of different things interesting. But no, I enjoyed it. Thank you. Have a great day.